الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تبارك وتعالى عليه وعلى اله واصحابه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والله يهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم فقد قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين او كما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام صدق الله العظيم وصدق نبيه الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير وبك نستعين يا رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته respected viewers of deen tv welcome to a new program of guided path i hope that you are in good health wherever you're watching this program from and i thank you dear viewers for joining me today i ask thank allah that allah azza wa jal has given us the ability to take some time out to understand our deen. I pray to Allah that Allah Azza wa Jal make this a means for our success in this world and the hereafter. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah Almighty gives me and grants me the ability to convey the correct message. and give you my dear brothers and sisters the understanding the correct understanding and may allah grant us the ability to act upon it now in our program of guided path we'd be talking about the path which has been guided by the Quran and the Sunnah and that is the correct path that is the guided path and that is the path that we should be 
traveling on. And we make du'as every day, every day, through our salah to Allah. And that is the du'a, my dear brothers and sisters, that we do when we recite Surah Al-Fatiha. The whole surah is du'as. Especially the part when we say, اِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاتَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ O Allah, guide us on the straight path. That path, my dear brothers and sisters, are the guided path. Now before we go further on to our main topic, let us just think beforehand if and just call it like an introduction. Have we ever thought that what is the purpose of our life? I mean, this is a, 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 a great issue. And it is a very important one. Because the purpose of life it's the most important thing. I mean, whatever we do, there is always a purpose behind it. A life without purpose, it, it is unimaginable. So let us think why are we on this planet? What is the purpose behind it? What are we doing here? Now, if we look at the Quran al Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indicates, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Afahasibitum anna ma khalaqnakum abatha. Do you think? أَفَحَسِبْتُمْ Do you think أَنَّمَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ That we have created you عَبَثَا For no reason, without a purpose. That is the question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is putting there in the Qur'an. So from that verse we understand that our existence on this planet the purpose we are here in this world, there is a big purpose behind our existence. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there. Now what is that purpose? Why are we here? And my dear brothers and sisters, I think it is very important as I stressed. To me, that is the fundamental thing that we should be thinking. We should sit here and just take everything away from our mind and let us ponder and think and think deep. I don't, I'm not saying thinking just from the surface. No, deep thought, deep thinking. That what am I doing here? I mean, a lot of us, we've seen our grandparents, they were here. And a lot of our grandparents have, have died, have passed away. They do not exist anymore. So they were here and now they're not. A lot of our parents, a lot of us, we have maybe lost both of our parents or one of them. They were here. They existed. Unfortunately, they're not here anymore. Now about ourselves, today we exist. And through history, we understand and we have learnt that we exist and then 
we are in non-existence. We were in non-existence, then we existed, and then we will non-exist again. So from that, if we think about it, that the time we are in existence, we have in this world, there is a, a purpose behind that. We are meant to do something in that time. Now, wherever and whatever we do, there always is a reason. For example, if you go to the supermarket, you have a reason of going there. You have a reason. Maybe to do, get some uh, stuff that you need. When you, when you drive, you drive to get to a certain destination, to get some work done. So that always is a reason behind our action. Even if you are just going out for a walk, that is a purpose behind it. Either to have uh, some form of exercise or just to get some fresh air. But it does have a reason. So what is our reason of the Hayat dunya that time that we have our existence in this world? Let us look from the Deen perspective. And obviously we will find that in the Quran. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that purpose. Subhanallah. Allah put it in a such an eloquent and beautiful way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have created the jinn kind and the mankind only for worshipping me. There you go, my dear brothers and sisters. That is the purpose. That is the reason why you and I are in existence. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you and me. And subhanallah, Allah has created mankind and gave mankind that respect, that status. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that we have created insan, mankind, in the best of form, subhanAllah. So Allah's creation, amongst His creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving a declaration that, that in the human, they are Allah's most sophisticated creation, the most high-ranking creation, subhanAllah. Now with every important person, there comes important duties. And subhanAllah, Allah has mentioned that duty, that is for us to do, is to worship Allah and to worship Allah al alone, wahda, without associating any partners with Allah. That is our purpose. That is your purpose. That is our goal. Now what happens through worshipping? 
Why does one worship? It is to please the one that you are worshipping. If you go to the bottom of the meaning and the purpose of worship, it is to please. Now anybody can be worshipping whatever they believe in. If somebody is worshipping, uh, say, um, the sun, it is to please. Or some other kind of uh, uh, the God they believe in. It is to please, subhanAllah. So our, us, my dear brothers and sisters, we worship Allah Azza wa Jal, and the purpose is to please Allah Azza wa Jal. So that Allah is pleased with us, He's happy with us. And this purpose of our life, it is a time limitation. We have a time limit to achieve that goal. So our, our purpose and our goal in life is to worship Allah so that Allah Azza wa Jal is happy with us and he's pleased with us to attain and seek the pleasure of Allah. So we have a time limit, as we said, that we weren't in existence before we were born. And then after we are born, that's when we come to existence. From this Existent time to our death is that time. While we exist, that is the time we have. That is the time that counts. That is the time we get. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُسْتَقَرُّمْ وَمَتَاعٌ إِلَى حِينٌ That for you, you have in this world a temporary station. And this is the time you are given to take benefit from it. To achieve your goal. To achieve your target. Within that time limit. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the word ilahin. Now the word heen in Arabic it indicates toward a short period of time. Now through that word heen we clearly understand that this time we have been given to accomplish our mission or our aim or our goal it is a short period of time. Subhanallah. So time is a very important factor for us. We, have, we haven't got a ample uh, uh, time that we can maybe waste some and still get our goal achieved. So it's a task that we have a time limitation. Just like if you're sitting in an exam room, you have a time limitation maybe two hours, three hours, whatever uh, the examiner gives you, to put your thought on a paper in that time. Because as soon as your exam time finishes, you won't be able to write anything. Whatever you've written in that amount of, the specified amount of time, that will be, that will be considered as Correct. And if you do even write something after the time has finished, that is void. That the, the, you won't get a mark for that. 
because you have exceeded that time. So this time is very important. A lot of times we do not actually make good use of our time. That's another thing. Subhanallah. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in, in this beautiful hadith, subhanallah, he says, نِعْمَتَانِ مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ السِّحَةُ وَالْفَرَاقُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that there is two ni'mah, ni'matan. مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ That a lot of the people, majority of the people, they are taking a loss in those ni'mah. Those two bounties that Allah has given, they are not utilizing that to the max. And what are those two? The Prophet wasallam says, أَسِحَةُ وَالْفَرَاغُ one is siha, being healthy, and the other is wal the time, the time we get. Subhanallah. As we all know, there's a saying: "Time and tide waits for no one." If you've missed it, you missed it. Yesterday. If yesterday was a Thursday, it's gone. We will get another Thursday in this coming week, but it will not be that Thursday. That Thursday has gone from my life. It will never come, let alone a day. The hour that we have passed, that hour will never come back in my life again. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock. This will come back again and again and again throughout our life. But that particular hour, it has been taken away from my life. Because we have a time frame. We have a certain time to exist in this world. So I have a beginning and I have an end. And my journey starts from the beginning. From my birth till my death. So this is the time span you and I have. From the cradle to the grave. From birth to death. That's the time. Now what we do in that time, that will define what is going to happen after our death. This is the chance we've got. As the Prophet sallallahu explains in another hadith, Ad-dunya mazra'atul akhirah. Ad-dunya mazra'atul akhirah. This world is the plantation of the hereafter. This world is the plantation of the hereafter. Whatever we sow here, will be, we will reap that after. It's just like if you have uh, cultivated something, then when the harvest time will come, you'll be harvesting that. Now, if you have, let's say, cultivated rice grain, and when, when the harvest time comes, and you think you are going to get corn, my dear brothers and sisters, that would be thinking wrong. Remember, you have harvest is, you have harvested rice, not corn. So whatever 
you sow, you will harvest that. So in this time frame, this is the time to sow. Ad-dunya mazra'atul akhirah. Whatever you do in terms of your deed, that you will reap after your death. Whether it's in the barzakh or akhirah. So now, let's look at this angle that we have a task. There is a time limitation on it. Now, to get to a certain place, you have a time. And then you have to have a path. And that path, my dear brothers and sisters, is the guided path which will guide us to our final destination. And remember, when somebody passes away, what do we say? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Indeed, we belong to Allah inna ilayhi and towards him Raji'un we shall return. Now what does the word return mean? Return means that we came from somewhere and we are going back. That is return. When we go to a certain place, we do not say that we return. So subhanallah. That is the thing to think about, my dear brothers and sisters. That we came from somewhere and we have to go back there. We need that path which guides us back to that place. So that's why we need to know about that guided path, about the Sirat al Mustaqim. We have run out of time at our today's episode, but inshallah, do, do tune in in our next episode of Guided Path. Inshallah, we will continue. Till then, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah Almighty have mercy on us and keep us on the Sirat al-Mustaqim. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.